Why hello, I'm Barry with Empty Hammock, where you never know what you're going to see. Today you're going to see me do my very first ever sponsored video. Does that make me a real YouTuber now? A few years back, when my trailer was vandalized, while I was working on the hoarder house renovation, I bought and installed this really cheap, janky video surveillance system, so I could see what was going on, and I could see if the people came back. Uh, they didn't, thankfully. That camera system was super janky and hard to use, but it showed me what was possible in a home surveillance system in order to keep my farm or my property safe. So when Real Link contacted me and said that they wanted to send me a home security system for me to try out and do a review on, I jumped at the chance. I had set up this goofy cheap system here at the house and found I kind of relied on it to see what was going on on my farm at night and to see where the wild animals were getting into the fence. But it was so grainy and unreliable, I really wanted a better system. I had experience installing a real link camera system for my church and was actually pretty impressed with it. They have some really innovative features it's easy to set up and they seem pretty tough, which is really important to me. Reolink sent me the RLK8 800D4, which can handle up to eight cameras. It has a two terabyte local storage, which can handle many days of recording and came with four cameras. They also sent me a TrackMix POE, which has one of the coolest features I've ever seen in a home security system. I'll show you that in a bit. These cameras are 8 megapixels, which is more than enough to see what's going on on the farm. Pretty clearly. Unlike this last cheap system that I used, this was terrible. I temporarily set up everything in my living room to test it out before setting it up for real. I then installed the camera system where they're going to go on the property, which is also super easy. For the garden area, I wanted to get up high enough so I could see everything. So I pulled out a random pole I found in my bushes, dug a hole in the ground right in the middle of the garden area, and planted it. I built this extension arm away from the pole for a better angle to get it away from the pole, and I gave the camera a little hat to keep the water out of the screw holes on the top of the housing. Now it is totally waterproof, but I didn't want water just sitting in there. Probably not necessary, but I did it anyway. I didn't want a wireless transmission system for the cameras or batteries to change or a solar panel, although they have those options too, if that's what you want. So the PoE or power over ethernet system is perfect for me. I just ran a single Cat5 wire and it's done. And it comes with uh, waterproof connections too. The biggest reason I wanted to try Reolink system was that it works fantastically well not connected to the internet. Or you can hook it up to your phone so you can watch your property from anywhere in the world. You have that choice, which I like. You can also black out areas you don't want recorded, like my greenhouse. That's really important to me. The onboard AI can identify the difference between cars and people and pets. During playback, you can also select only what you want to show so that you can scrub right to what you want. It helps out so much when trying to find a certain event during playback. Also, if you want, you can get push notifications to your phone you know, when your neighbor tries to steal a tomato or if your dog or a predator is in your chicken coop. You can set the maximum and minimum sizes that the AI uh, identifies and sends you an alarm for. You can tune it to your needs. There's tons of different options for notifications. The cameras have a 97 degree field of view, which is actually a little bit less than my other system, but the image quality way makes up for that. <laughs> it is good. I just got home from work and uh, set everything up on my phone just to see how it works. And I have the camera up there on the pole the wire is just temporarily strung up. That's the uh, POE, power over ethernet wire. I'm gonna end up making it a lot neater and burying it in the ground, but I haven't yet. I just wanna see if it works. 
So there's the camera and what I'm gonna do is uh, see if it sees me on my phone. All right, so I'm gonna show you this view. Oh look, there's me. So you can see how much of a delay there is from real time. Like two seconds. So this is actually over cell data because I'm too far away from my house to get Wi-Fi. That's pretty good. So there's a button on here that says trigger alarm. Let's see what that does. It's right up here at the top. Trigger audio alarm. Oh, that's cool. Let me hit that again. Huh. And then trigger light. Yep. So, again, I'm doing that from the app. So I'll show you when I push the button here. Hello. A light comes on on the camera. That's actually pretty neat. So if you're out somewhere and you're looking at your camera and you see somebody that, you know, shouldn't be there or if there's an animal or, um, you know, if a, a critter is coming in here to get at my birds, I can just go and make an alarm. That's actually pretty cool. Well, I really need to change their water. Good grief, they're messy. One of the main reasons that I wanted to get this particular camera is the fact that I can move around. So I have a pretty big area back here that I need to monitor, watch for animals, make sure that the birds don't get out, um, see if there's a deer gotten into the orchard or something like that. So that camera enables me to watch the entire area and I can do that from my phone or from my house. Um, I'm probably not going to have the whole unit set up to Wi-Fi to sell data all the time. I just don't like that idea. But when I need it, I'll have access to it. I can plug it in, I can log in, and there it is. So let's see what happens. I'm going to show you the camera and the screen at the same time. The camera I'm using can't focus on my phone this close, but in real life it is crystal clear. One other cool thing that I just saw in here is uh, the camera records audio. So I'm hearing a, a feedback from myself, which is kind of weird. So it's going through the camera all the way through cell data to my phone. Let me show you. So here's the delay. So here's the delay. Hello. Hello. Couple seconds. So if I turn this feature on where I can listen to my backyard and if my birds are squawking and freaking out, I can tell something's going on. I can tell something's going on. I'm gonna end up making a feedback delay. I better get out of here. That's kind of funny. It's actually getting kind of dark, sun's going down, and you can see the display is still very clear. And I turned on the automatic person tracking. So I'm not going to move the camera myself. It sees me, and watch what happens. I'm not doing anything, it's doing this completely by itself. So as I walk around, it's following me, zooming in and out. That is awesome. So this is a setting that makes it pretty hard for somebody to be able to come onto your property and not get seen by the camera up there, by the AI, and um, be able to get away with it. 
That <laughs> is cool. I'm gonna walk all the way out of the garden. Let's see how much it tracks. Still got me. Goodness. So for reference, the camera is way over there and it's still watching me. It's still crystal clear, very bright, even though it's getting dark outside. When I heard about that feature, I was like, oh, come on. How accurate can that be? <sighs> That's awesome. And I can also talk through the cameras. I can hit talk, tap to talk. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and it goes all around my entire property. That's cool. I know it's crazy dark, but I wanted to check the night sensitivity of this thing. So right now I have the camera set up to automatically turn on when it sees a person and to turn on a light and to track it. So I'm gonna turn the camera toward the camera <laughs> and see what it does. So I just put my hens away there and there, tucked in. And there's the camera. Let's we'll see what happens. Ah, you caught me. And it's looking right at me. In just a few days, now that I've had the system running, I've already captured a few different critters snooping around on my property. And even saw some random fireworks display. I don't know what that was about. I think these cameras are a great addition for my home and garden security. Reallink has tons of different options on their website, bunch of different setups. If you want to watch your property, head to the link in the description and visit Reallink's smart security cameras and use the code hammock for a discount. Okay, bye.